Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lamia and in today's video we're going to talk about Web3. In order to understand what is Web3, we need to go back in time and talk about Web 1.0 and 2.0. So what is Web 1.0? Web 1.0 which started in the 1990 when we saw the beginning of the digital era. During this time, it was born out of the work that began in 1973 when the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Project Agency started researching on protocols allowing computers to communicate over a distributed network. During Web 1.0, the Internet was what we called static or read-only version, meaning pages were connected only by hyperlinks without any additional visual or comment section. Then in 2005 came Web 2.0. Through advancement of technology like JavaScript, HTML and CSS3, users are no longer just consumers of the information, but now can interact with the website and are playing an active role in creating, sharing and publishing on the internet like Facebook, TikTok, Twitter and Instagram. Web 2.0 brought the power of content creation and interaction to the masses, making it read right to the internet. But with this power came a heavy cost, the centralization of power. As the tech companies like Facebook grew stronger, the balance of power shifted from the web users to the tech giants. Big social media companies started collecting our data in the name of personalizing and improving our experience of using the internet. Although they did improve our web experience, they also started selling our personal data to advertisers for money. So Web2 is owned by these companies. They control the platform and they are the gatekeepers to this information. And this is where Web3 came in. So what is Web3.0? Web3 is the next evolution of the internet based on blockchain technology, which incorporates concepts such as decentralization and token-based economy. Users can help in content creation and also in the governance of the web itself. They also have the ability to own part of the network. Web 3.0 can also be known as the read write own of the internet. With Web 3.0, you are not only consumers and contributors, but you are also decision makers to choose how to interact with the web. You can now decide what you want to do with your data, rather than someone else imposing a decision on you. If you want your data to be sold to advertisers for money, you will be fairly compensating for it rather than the big tech giants pocketing ads revenue. You are also free to turn off ads for your web sessions, but in this case, your data will not be shared with advertisers. Another defining characteristic of Web 3.0 is the application of AI, artificial intelligence. We will see faster development, more inclusion of users with Web 3.0. There are already thousands of dApps or decentralized applications that are being built in the Web 3 environment. Tabs that often include native tokens as a way to add value to the application to those who hold the token. These native crypto assets allow those who participate in the network itself to share in the value that's generated from it. I hope with this video you now have a better understanding of what is Web3. If you enjoy content like this, please subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching Web3 Crypto and see you in the next one.